hi hi welcome back to my channel on bamji foods diy today we'll be learning something very interesting something very profiting something that will put money in your pockets something that you will learn and it will save you costs and that is texapon how you can make texapon at home will you be interested in learning how to do this stay tuned and don't go anywhere like my video and subscribe to my channel if you are new to this channel and you just bumped into this video please subscribe to my channel thank you welcome back so let's establish what we are going to be using for this procedure we'll be needing sls rice that's sodium lowering sulfate we'll also be needing our sodium sulfate that's the salt we are going to be using for this production and then we are going to be needing our water you have to make sure the water is boiled and very hot boil hot water and pour into a bowl to this hot water this is where we'll be adding our sodium sulfate if you use cold water to dissolve your sodium sulfate it may not dissolve completely in fact it may not even dissolve it may form a lump under the uh, water so make sure you use hot water to dissolve your sodium sulfate after pouring in the hot water please add in your sodium sulfate and stir immediately to avoid having lumps underneath stir perfectly till the uh, cloudiness in the water clears out and turns back to transparent and make sure that all lumps is properly dissolved in the water after dissolving it this is how the water will look like so i have to transfer it into a bigger bowl i have to transfer the solution of the water and sodium sulfate into a bigger bowl so that i can proceed from it into it you pour in your sls and then you stir sls is actually a little bit stubborn to dissolve but with the help of this the hotness of the water and and your stirring ability it will be able to dissolve properly avoid using something like hand mixer at this particular stage if not you have so many bubbles to deal with that means too much you have to to leave your uh, solution to settle for a longer time so using like a spatula a silicon spatula or a wooden spatula to stir is better once you stir, you hydrate each of the SLS rice granules and then you let it sit for some time. I let mine sit for about 15 to 20 minutes before I come back to it. By the 20th minute, it was already dissolved perfectly. If you are working with a larger badge, you may have to wait for a longer time. But for just this particular quantity of 1300 or 1400 grams of uh, texapon you just have to wait for a little time so this is after 20 minutes of waiting you can see all the sls was almost dissolved and our texapon was gradually um, forming so at this point i just stirred everything incorporated the whole mixture together to have a very nice and smooth homogeneous mixture like I said, using a spatula is better for you to work with than using a hand mixer or, or anything that will give you so much bubbles. The more the bubbles, the more the waiting time for you to settle. This is the formulation receipt on the screen. You can see it in percentage. For people that want to formulate for a bigger badge, you can use the percentage to work depending on the quantity you want to make use of. If you are trying to produce a 10 kg recipe of texapon, that means 80% of your 10 kg should be your water, 12.4% should be your SLS, and 7.5% should be your sulfate. If you want to make this quantity that I made here, just use the recipe on your right hand, which is 150 gram of hot water, 160 gram of SLS, and 100 gram of sodium sulfate. 
this will give you the quantity i have here which is enough for you to produce and work with in meals or in volume this total production will be giving you around one and a half liter of of of, uh, of the example by weight just sum everything together this will give you the weight of the texapon you should have at the tail end so after mixing everything properly you will just have to keep it aside let it sit from night till morning for at least eight hours so that all the suds will settle perfectly by morning we'll be having a very clean and clear transparent and a very thick and jelly texapon to work with Lest I forget, Texapon is a foaming agent, I said before, and it's also a foaming booster. We always use it in production of household uh, detergents like a liquid soap, and also we also use it in other formulation. Please bear in mind that the Texapon we prepared is a homemade DIY Texapon, and it is not the same as a factory made Texapon, because factory made Texapon is prepared by the isolation of the Dodecil alcohol, which is produced from either palm kernel oil or coconut oil. It is also sulfonated and is different from the Texapon we made. The chemical process involved in the Texapon exterior layers that we buy in the market is different from the one we made as in home DIY but know that this one we made right now the one in the video we are making the texapon diy can actually suffice for the one you buy in the market we made it with sls which is also a foaming agent so therefore any liquid soap you use this to produce will foam perfectly if you want to see a video of how i use this particular texapon to produce a liquid soap i will leave a link in the description box of a video of how to make a dishwashing liquid soap using your homemade texapon. This will save you cost while you are procuring your materials that you are using to make your dishwashing liquid soap. This is how your the texture of your texapon will look like before you set it up in your counter for it to clear out. You can leave it for the next 12 to 24 hours. If you use hand mixer to mix, you may actually leave it for a longer time. If you use a spatula, within the next 8 to 12 hours, it must have cleared out like mine. Look at how clear it is. No single bubble is left in my texapon. The viscosity is very thick, thick like a gel. I've mentioned the uses of texapon is still on the screen for you. Look at how thick. This is the thickness you are supposed to get. If you want it thicker than this, you can reduce the percentage of your water quantity. You can discount your water quantity. Aside that, this is perfect for you to work with. This is very jelly and very thick. 